We see, we see, we see. Zare, how are you doing? On oh, sensor tube. Is there a way to invest in BRICS even though your country won't be a part of it? Uh, I think the way to invest in BRICS if your country is not going to be a part of it is to be betting that your country is going to economically go down the toilet, right? Uh, so you can't directly invest in it. Uh, in the BRICS nation, especially not in Russia, when when the sanctions started coming out on Russia, there were uh, indexes. Uh, what do you call it? ETF, sort of. They're they're called spiders. No, they're not called spiders. Maybe they're called spiders. I can't remember. Uh, that were tracking Russian companies, energy companies, mining companies, stuff like that, and they're worth a fair bit, right? But then all of a sudden, their prices came down, dropped. These stocks basically dropped. And then they were frozen for a couple of days. And then they came back trading. They were, you know, let's say they were trading at 30 originally. Now they were trading at $3, $2. So people started buying them up. And then they went on. They got, they put them, uh, froze them again. So anybody that owns those stocks, they couldn't trade them. And then they opened up again and they dropped in value. And if you didn't sell within that very volatile, people didn't know what was going on. Those volatile times, they were frozen. That means if you had money in it, short or long, it was done. Like you lost everything, right? So you have to be careful. And in terms of legally, like some of these countries we know we're living in fascistic times, right? So if they come out and say, oh, you're not allowed to hold any of this and you hold it, especially with uh, central bank digital currencies and, uh, you know, uh, online IDs and stuff like this, They'll, they'll be able to track everything you do, including how much toilet paper you use in the bathroom, right? Literally, they can figure out how much toilet paper you use in a bathroom on a monthly basis, right? You know, it might come out and say, hey, you're taking too many dumps. <laughs> you, gotta, you, can't, you can't buy, you know, this and this. You gotta, you gotta start eating fiber and plug up your system a little bit if you don't drink enough water, right? Uh, it's crazy it's uh, gold and silver are one way to do it that would be my not that it's, this is financial recommendation my uh, recommendation to family let's say Zara so one way you can invest in bricks is through gold and silver why because Russia has been accumulating gold China has been accumulating gold India has always been accumulating gold India now is telling it's citizen uh, China is now telling citizens to buy silver. That's why silver has gone up 45% last, uh, or let's say 30% last, not 30%. Yeah, <laughs> more than that in the last uh, three months. That's why I kept on saying gold and silver for the last year, really. Uh, just accumulate gold and silver, accumulate, and not paper gold and silver, hard assets, right? So gold and silver is one way to do it. If you remember, Russia, when the sanctions kicked in, for a few months, they pecked the ruble to an ounce of gold, 500 ru 5,000 rubles to an ounce of gold, right? That's one thing they did to stabilize their currency. Maybe it was a little experiment to see what was going to happen, right? Why is China accumulating so much? China's U.S. Uh, bonds investment in security and, and uh, what are your treasuries was 1.3 trillion dollars four years ago three years ago or something like this right now i just heard through um oh, paul craig roberts he mentioned that like four years ago three years ago whatever it was five years ago let's say it was 1.3 trillion dollars and now china only has 800 billion of US treasuries, right? Whoa, that's a huge drop, right? So they're doing this in anticipation that they're going, the United States is going to do the same thing they did to Russia, right? Where they'll not allow China to, you know, they're going to bring in sanctions. They've already announced sanctions, but at some point they're going to kick it up to Russia level with what is it, EU had. 12 rounds of sanctions, 15 rounds of sanctions. They're going to turn the ruble into rubble. They're going to turn the yuan into, I don't know what, 
right? They're going to try to do the same thing to China. I'm, I'm not sure if they will. They already introduced the sanctions on electric cars. It went from 25% that Trump introduced to 100%, right? So all those people that believed in the BS of, oh, we need to prevent, you know, electric cars, prevent CO2 and all this stuff going on, just know that the United States increased the tariffs on Chinese electric cars to 100%, right? That's not, that's not going to uh, accelerate the, if you believe in it, accelerate the, uh, you know, rollout of EV cars if they're 100% tariffs on Chinese, right? Vehicles, that's one of the sanctions. They have other sanctions. So if they kick it up, just imagine, if they kick up the sanctions on the United States, on China, to even a fraction of the level that they did to Russia, because remember, they kicked Russia off the SWIFT system uh, within months of this craziness here in Ukraine, right? And Russia pegged the ruble to gold. Now, just imagine if they did the same thing to China and China pegged the yuan to gold. What do you think the price of gold will do? Right? What, what do you think that will happen? Right? So that's not directly investing in bricks, but what it is, is maneuvering to be able to take advantage of what bricks is doing and the stupidity of the Western world in destroying their economies, our economies, right? So that's one way to do it. You can short the market. Don't go naked shorts, right? You could go puts on certain companies that they're, they're just anchored into China. Just imagine how many products in Walmart, for example, how much uh, goods in those dollar stores or this is not financial advice dollar stores or lululemon or all those companies that make their products are betting on growth here because they know this is no more growth done like growth <laughs> growth growth and what right growth and red rats right the growth is here right just imagine if they do sanctions all of a sudden like if you follow some of the retail, the retail sector is taking a huge hit in the Western world. All those retail companies in the Western world are betting to be able to sell their products in China, in here, in India, right? Just imagine if that's taken away from them, right? It, it's indirect. The other choice is pack everything up and go and live over there. Louis Eduardo the hug, the hug, the Xi and Putin hugging, final nail in the coffin of U.S. hegemony, right? Well, on sensor too, er everything going down right now is like a tsunami that's gathering force in the distance. Hope the hit won't be as devastating as I think it would be. I think it's going to be devastating. Even gold and silver might go down, right? But relative to other things, mm, probably not, right? 